people just hold up a triangle, a rectangle. Oh, hey. Can you see us? Am I coming in clear? Okay. I'm the first kid to be sent by television. Hi, Mom. Am I coming in clear? He had to bring up Willy Wonka. Hey, we're here with him, Jeff Tucker. Hey, it's me. How are you? 91 Reasons. 91 Reasons. One of the best podcasts ever. Unsolicited. Thank you. (laughs) It's actually really good. So, talk to me about Not Scary Farm this year. First of all, the P.T. Barnum of Haunt. He gets on the stage and he just entertains the hell out of everybody. And it's amazing. It's easy when you like what you're talking about. Like, if I was selling frozen hams, I wouldn't be nearly as entertaining. Oh, I would. But selling Scary Farm and talking about Scary Farm, that's what I live and breathe for, you know? What was... I mean, how did you... Okay, you guys... You guys took... How long did you take to put this presentation? This was, like, obviously the most polished presentation they'd given. So yeah, yeah. Like, well, you know what happened was we got really lucky. We have a new guy on the team named Casey Armstrong. Okay. No, not Casey. Named Casey. <laughs> you edit that out. <laughs> that's, a guy, every... that's a guy from the Howard Stern show. No, <laughs> my, good fr- my good friend Casey, he is an amazing director. Okay. He's directed the last few, uh, the Christmas show, right. the spring show for Boysenberry Festival. And he came in and having a director just changes everything. You oh, know? God, it was Tim Klega did last year's show. And it was really difficult because we, we were going through a regime change and it was crazy, right? This time, all, everything in the stars were aligned to put on a show like of that caliber. Like, I was happy to be a a part of it, you know, because I walked in and they were doing choreography and they were rehearsing. The Rockettes were and they were out. Yeah, and there were set pieces and stuff and I was like, oh my God, it's like it's like a real show. It's not just me and like a projector. Jeff, you know? you're a real performer now. I uh, I am. I hear Tony. Every time of, uh, I hear Tony. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you heard my you remark, <laughs> it was like the world's most bizarre award show, you know. <laughs> Next up, Meryl Streep was nominated for Voodoo Order of the Serpent. She could pull it off. Oh, sure. She Anybody. Could, you know what? She, she could, could do a Papa Lecba, any... like hardcore. What yeah. are you most excited about? I'm most excited. There, what do you, how do you ask that? There's so much to do. I go I mean, like this. Dark I go, Ride sounds what are you amazing. Most excited about? Dark Ride about. sounds amazing. Pumpkin Eater sounds amazing. The final farewell performances of Elvira? To be a part of that? That would be pretty amazing. That's amazing, right? Yeah. That's the end of an era, and, and I'm part of it. We still don't. We still don't have a title for that, right? Uh, oh, the breakup grind. The breakup. I think the title is Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Last I heard. Well, I think I have something for you. Yeah. What do you got? Oh yeah. Oh, I have one of those too. Oh, you right? do? Oh yeah. No, I got one right here. Do you, you know what the joke on this is? This yeah, is this yeah. is at Scare LA like three years ago. Yeah. I joked that we were gonna have an Elvira bounce house. And I'm still waiting for that. And me to too. I mean, that sounds like the that greatest that attraction ever, right? I know. That has to be the finale of Dark Ride. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, so So are you gonna be able to perform in any of the mazes this year? Or are you just gonna be walking around? What are you gonna be doing? Well, my main thing is I'm gonna be what's called Entertainment One. Which is like the, the the main go-to guy for entertainment. We have all these amazing people that do all these amazing jobs, and then one guy has to be like in charge until the last guest leaves. So I'm gonna do that. But I'll tell you, here's here's my secret. Okay. I'm gonna take my breaks in Mad Eye Joe. <laughs> so Mad Eye Joe is this thing we're doing. And if you know Sad Eye Joe, right? Right. For for Scary Farm Nights, we're gonna close the window. Okay. So there's no interaction with the real person. It's okay. just Mad Eye Joe. So I'll be able to take that mic and just unleash on yes. people. And that's that to me is worth all I, I, that's that's worth coming in. That's gonna be awesome. Yeah. I want to see sometime I want to see the return of a scary show. Yeah. You were the one who brought in, you know, the the show I why is the name escaping? Well, we did Unearthed, and then we did Possessed. Yes, Possessed. Yeah. Now, that one was scary. That was fun. It, you know what? The, that's the ultimate challenge for from a show point of view, because shows are not scary, because you're right. passive and you're watching. And we got so lucky on Possessed. That was 2013, if you can believe that. that my daughter, so good. My daughter, who was in it, is videos. now almost uh, 13. I mean, it's insane, right? Or almost 12. And... Uh, 
I, those will come back eventually. You know, this is the slow build now so since we're we're trying all these new things. I, I don't know what the future holds. That that's up to Ken Parks and his amazing uh, roster of what he's got going for us. But uh, would I like well, to do that again? You know what? Absolutely. Kenny, Kenny bad at what he does. He's fantastic at what Not he does. Bad. We are lucky to have him, and I. I couldn't be happier with the way things are going here. Yeah, oh my gosh, it's going to be awesome. Like I said in the show, like I said, I look, I'm going to talk fast. There's a lot of things I'm just going to sort of pass by really quick. There are so many things for this year at Scary Farm that we haven't talked about that we want the guests to just discover. Just fine. Yes. Any hints? Well, Ghost Town's going to be full of them. Okay. Uh, Carnival will be full of them. And it'll just be one of those things where. You walk up and you go, I can't believe this is happening. Yeah. They didn't, it wasn't in the brochure. You know, it's that's not on the map. map. That's what we want. Like that? Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, you guys, we got to go visit Mad Eye Joe. <laughs> yes. During. Uh, and here's the Not best part. I started at Knott's Ferry Farm, 1994. Know, really, bro? Really? Oh, and my God. first job was Sad Eye Joe. <laughs> I was 22, and the guy who trained me was 84. <laughs> So, I have a long history with Sad Eye Joe. Guys, guys. Boys and Berry Meatballs. Guys. Where's Jeff? Oh, come in Where's and eat Jeff? Him. Hey, I'm going to no, leave. No, we got to get Jeff. Uh, yeah, Shattuck? No, not Shattuck. Who do you want? We need Jeff Heimbach. Oh, uh, yeah, that's, he's the guy. Because he's the dude. He's the dude that was craving this. Oh, my God. Boys and Berry Meatballs, yo. Should we just, should we just eat them? No, no, I'm gonna, you, you come in. You eat them on camera. No, I, this is for, these are actually these are available to the employees. Oh, we I have eat more. these all the time. Yeah. We oh. Oh. Find, find uh, Jeff. Jeff. Cooking show. We need Jeff. 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 Where Jeff, where are you? Where are you? Where they are have boysenberry meatballs you? for you. It's like the longest bit in the history of horror books. I know. <laughs> well, right. awesome, man. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Thanks See you in the so fog. All right. Adios.